helping your wife is a church. It's a sunnah of the Prophet If you do that, definitely you are going to get it. You need to start with being medically fit, especially if you have a health condition. I lock up myself in a restroom and I gorge myself with a bottle of a drink. Who's gonna know I did that? Nobody. But then I don't do that. To engage yourself in charity, it cleanses the soul. What do you think about our nan bread at Chicken Kebab? Beautiful. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuhu. Welcome to yet another thrilling episode of Ramadan with Hollandia, a lifestyle program designed to nourish your soul with important discussions centered around the month of Ramadan and where we also nourish your taste buds with interesting recipes from our kitchen. I am Asma Gambu. Tapi mo para gabatar da shirin bari mu je hutun takaitaccen lokaci. Sannan ku da ci gaba da kasancewa da mu. Ramadan is a time Muslims strive to strengthen their self-discipline. However, there are social pressures peculiar to young people that can make the observance of Ramadan challenging to them. My guest on this episode is Umokulsum. I'm delighted to have her here. Umokulsum, welcome on the show. Thank you. I'm so happy to be here. Yeah, yeah, Azumi. Alhamdulillah. MashaAllah. So let me ask you a question. What do you understand by the term peer pressure? Well, I understand peer pressure. It's a feeling of being pressured to conform to the expectations of your peer your friends mm -hmm. doing a behavior that you normally don't do okay uh going up to their expectation i think you have to be sure that you're a lot more bigger age mm -hmm. or like bad things they normally do okay. or sometimes a peer pressure we have, can have it in a good way because they have like positive and then negative but so um i'm glad that you mentioned that we have two kinds of peer pressure which is that is what is uh that leads me to my next question um most of the time people think um, when you say pressure like peer pressure it's usually negative so i'm glad you mentioned that there's a positive and a negative can you just tell me more about that what do you see as the positive um form of peer pressure and then which one is the negative you see during ramadan me and my friends we have like a competition okay for um recitation of the Quran. Mm, we like through the thirty days of the Ramadan mm -hmm. to complete the whole recitation. The recitation of the, the entire Quran. holy Quran. Yeah. Inshallah. So um normally it's not everybody that gets to complete. Okay. So anybody that completes it is like the winner, the year, the leader of the group or something. Mm. And then sometimes like the last time I won, okay. um, my best friend's mom got me a gift and I was so happy she was jealous. Oh that that's I nice. Finish. So that's a positive kind of pressure. Yeah. Okay. But we're like a negative kind of pressure is some of my classmates. They feel they are not yeah old enough to like do all the Ramadan and which is a bad mm. thing. We are already big enough to fast all our fast without it's compulsory eating. on yeah. new or at this age, or else mm -hmm. at this age, but then most of them don't do that. So how do you um, keep up with this um, negative pressure? How do you deal with it? Well, knowing that after every fast, mm -hmm. I get a reward from my mom's friend or either my mom any, mm -hmm. but to top it almost importantly, mm -hmm. I know that I'll have a reward from Allah. So I'm very happy about that. MashaAllah. At least you know you're doing it for the sake of oh, Allah. Yeah. The gifts from your parents is a bonus for you. Yes. Can I, I, I want to also get a reward, please. Let me get a gift <laughs> for <Okay>. fasting. <laughs> MashaAllah. We know that our reward is with Allah. That's um, amazing. Um, Umukosum. So how can observing fasting now during the month of Ramadan keep the youth away from, you know, uh, temptations yeah like fasting in the month of ramadan mm -hmm. like fasting is refraining yourself from doing whatever you want to i think it's the way you build up your self-control okay so knowing you can control yourself from doing bad things during ramadan i think it makes you feel better that you can keep that up. so how can ramadan um keep young adults like you away from temptations mm -hmm. Fasting is like it adds that you refrain you from doing what you are not supposed to do. 
so actually knowing your fasting you didn't listen to too much music social media and then of course you're not supposed to be sitting with your friends or gossiping about people it's, it's very people. important that gossip part you're not supposed to be of course backbiting gossiping you're not you do not want to be caught doing that while you're fasting while you're fasting mm -hmm. and the prophet Muhammad about said when you are fasting mm -hmm. you should uh, refrain from doing any evil deeds hmm. fighting but fighting and that if anybody tries to fight you tell them in Nisa Imun I am fasting hmm. so, yeah. and knowing that fasting is itself is a form of discipline that helps you that to helps stay you on course yes yeah. excellent right. points excellent points so you've mentioned all of this now so how are you able to achieve the self-control can you give me examples yeah i have like a secret i have a strict timetable okay i have time for recitation and then mm -hmm. for my ample rest and then i have time for a little bit of social media so even though i know that i can't make these things work so i have a 30 minutes alarm on my phone okay so the moment that alarm rings i know i'm supposed to keep my phone and recite mm. my alarm says mommy touch it here <laughs> so mommy touch it here yes because <laughs> Like she can come inside the room any moment mm -hmm. and she's not supposed to see me with my phone. Mm -hmm. So I have to decide and then I need an ample amount of rest so mm -hmm. to be able to so rest. Okay. So. And then even though I go through social media, you know, during Ramadan a lot of people post um Islamic content. Yes. So yeah. So you I go make sure you go yeah. to those pages. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like read um new hadith. I find new hadith. Mm. I don't know. And then I love reading about the Prophet. MashaAllah. MashaAllah. So Umar Kulsum has shared her secret with us. Set your alarm to remind you to make your zikr, to recite your Quran. Tell Jama'a, Yanzukuma, Baramalik, a kitchen corner at the Muindazama Kamuko Abinchimi, Dankarandati, Kodakachimu. That was our kitchen corner in the Mukagan had a shy me kayan kam she wonder aka had a Hollandia lactose free. Yet you go on a shy um mukosum. Naga shy yay chow. Like a quite cloves a chiki, the herbs, the spices. And I'm so happy about the Hollandia lactose free milk. So for that my sister, she's lactose intolerant. Okay. So we don't take a milk until somebody eat us out of that and you want to eat it's very annoying so now i'm so happy she can take milk and i can also take my milk oh, so that's nice so it's a win-win for everybody yeah. here though. okay Omokosum, in a world full of distractions like social media how do you limit your uh, the hours you spend online during ramadan just like i said earlier i set up an alarm hmm? so i know the time that i have to use my phone and then the time that I have to recite, so, like, and on social media to prevent myself from listening to music, mm -hmm. watching about celebrities and their lifestyles. Even though I know it's a vanity, I know that's why. I know. I was going to. I was using my smile to judge you. Like, mm -hmm. yes. Even though I know it's a vanity, so I do search up on that was mm. because the, uh, the things you search up on, they're the things that come out on your suggestion. Yes, they pop up on my suggestion. Mm. So. Yeah, but mostly it's the alarm that helps me. Yeah, because it says mommy tachi kijeki at the and just like a spell, just when I keep my phone, 
she's by the door. She'll just appear. Yes. yes. <laughs> if I make it, we need to we need to thank mommy because just when her name uh, it comes up on the alarm it says mommy tachik tachik jeki sala koki ado and then we see mommy come to the door magically appear yeah seriously and it's like where were you where were you did you fall from the sky mm. it's like i just killed my phone just right now Masha. yeah but the alarm helps me a lot mm. okay like you know the hour mm. Allah. okay that's nice so um what advice when a shower as i can buy youth like you I can not succumb to peer pressure. What do you think, you know, they should do? How would you advise them? I think you should know where, who you are, where you're from, and the kind of parents you have. Mm. Yeah, there's this when every household has its, its types of discipline. Mm. They have their way of discipline. They have their way of showing love to their children too. And you should be content with what you have. Mm. It's not mostly what somebody has that you must have mm. so our parents are trying hard and absolutely yeah they are trying hard so we should be thankful mm. and we should also not break their trust too okay and you are told to do something mm. do it just the way and don't lie i'll emphasize on the contentment because some girls they think if so 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 person has this thing i also need it i mm -hmm. also need to have it but no it doesn't go that way just i think you should think about your wants mm. your needs not yeah, your wants your wants okay yeah absolutely awesome and then um of course um in addition to that i would say um the youth should also remember allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in everything that they do they, do. they right? remember that mm. they are going to die and mm. they are going to be judged mm. Allah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mm. is the most forgiving mm. but still he wants his um his his followers believers like his believers sorry sorry mm. he wants his believers to be very steadfast prayerful mm -hmm. you should like you believe in Allah and mm. then you're supposed to worship him yeah. a lot and not no follow the worldly things he has given you it's for the meantime mm. Um, and Allah wants his believers to whenever you like pray to God and ask for forgiveness don't go back to that same sin Sin that you have yeah. you had committed committed before thank yeah. you yeah. Oh, those were amazing points that you highlighted avoiding youthful temptations in Ramadan involves making conscious decisions do not forget that you can enjoy your youthful time without compromising your beliefs We'll now take our last segment, Watu, did you know? Kubiyomu. Did you know that Hollandia is a powerhouse that provides you with a variety of dairy-based products such as drinking yogurt, evaporated milk, lactose-free milk, UHT milk, and powdered milk? I hope when I invite you the next time, you'll come again. So before you go, I have a gift for you. Really? Yes, tell Mughal so. Oh, yes, our owner, like a company in Holland, yeah. Oh, I'm so happy. Naga lactose free. Masha Allah, to Jama'a, and then Nikki Chiwa, same among her, the Achikisha Munagaba, near Asma Gambo Niki Mukufatan and Khairi. Masalam.